Belgrade beat on the street, moving my feet to the beat without deceit coming at you. Basically, yeah, the weather changed from like um, summer to winter in like a really fast succession. Uh, Sunday was like we were outside, uh, me and a buddy filming girls on the street for Belgrade Beat, which you'll see coming out in November, my new series about Serbian women and their mentality. Mmm, really interesting subject. Complicated subject indeed. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like this weather, it's cool. I haven't really wanted to wake up and get outside like I used to, but you know, in the daytime it's still kind of warm. I'm wearing my winter jacket, but uh, yeah, I love this time of year, folks. I love this time of year. It's just when things are happening. I've been mostly working on support adventure stuff and just, yeah, my business, man. Going to London next week. Yeah, and as I told you, like Asia for November. Yeah, I'm traveling basically all winter all over the freaking place. So yeah, what can I say? Love the Belgrade, love uh, all this stuff. Um, since I'm going to be gone for like four and a half months, um, I am subletting my apartment while I'm uh, away. So if you're looking for an apartment to live in from November 1st until March 15th or um, April 1st, uh, just send me a message. I'll be back in Belgrade at certain points. Uh, the landlords are super cool. It's a one bedroom and uh, the rest of the details we can talk about when you email me at erik at erik dot rs eric at eric tachka rasa anyways um just thought i'd put that out there yeah it's around here dorchel neighborhood not really well i'll tell you more two bus stops from the from the freaking main square anyways um what can I say? Keep on hustling, folks. Keep on doing your thing. Um, keep on enjoying your life in Belgrade if you're here. Making plans to come here if you're not. If you're away. Yeah. I mean, just do it, folks. Just do your stuff. No excuses. You know, like, at the yoga studio, Wolf Yoda, yoga studio, which is, you know, mostly full. If you are going to come, I'd recommend coming to the morning classes now if you can get your lazy ass to wake up in the morning. Um, last night was full, lots of people. They're gonna have to add a bunch more classes to, to you know, like all these people who want to get their health in order. It's amazing. Oh, I've lost like 15 kilos this year, like 13 kilos, something like that. Yeah, I was up like, I don't mind telling. I was like 100 kilos before. I'm 183 centimeters, so big frame. Uh, and lots of body fat, which I have now changed. You can't change your frame, but you can change the body fat. I lost like 13 kilos. How did I do it? By eating less goddamn food. Surprise, surprise, folks. Eating less food makes you less fat. Um, intermittent fasting. You know, I pretty much eat, try to eat only in like late afternoon, early evening sort of thing, like four until I pick a window. Or some, I was earlier in the year, which was also good, I was doing like eight hours a day. Because I'm the sort of person like I do stuff properly. If I'm gonna get, if I'm gonna drink, I'll drink a whole bottle of wine or more. And if I'm going to, you know, like um, eat, I'll eat until I'm full. So I'm trying to eat more mindfully. But one of the things is fasting, you know, until you know four o'clock or at least two o'clock, not eating anything, just black coffee until then, and then only eating for about four hours. That's how I've lost the weight. Um, it's really good. I'm walking to the market now because I have a friend from Ukraine who's coming um, in a few hours. I want to be able to cook him a nice dinner. I'm going to Bailoni Piazza. And um, yeah, everything's happening, man. I love it. Um, yeah. Catch you guys later. Bye now.